Hello everyone, Namaskar, Rajkrishna this side and welcome back to the series where we are learning integration right from the beginning. So, might be looking an easy problem if you are into that integration but uh, for those who are beginners, uh, this problem is only dedicated to learning the integration of three basic functions, basic trigonometric function as we are heading towards trigonometric functions, trigonometric integration from this video. So the first one is sine x, then we are, have cos x and secant square x. So uh, you might have studied differentiation earlier. If not, no need to worry. Uh, but yes, uh, deriving this formula is something which I will do from differentiation only. So that will revise differentiation. Otherwise, uh, just you have to remember it. And uh, in uh, course of remembering, don't uh, uh, just uh, learn it, write it in a piece of paper and keep solving problems involving this sine, cos, secant, square x and you will gradually, that will fit into your mind. So, what about sine x? So, in our junior classes, in our childhood, we might have studied that the derivative of cos x is minus sine x okay so if we integrate okay so if we go the reverse thing integration of minus sine x should give you cos x plus a constant c because uh, derivative of cos x plus 2 is also minus sin x because derivative of 2 gives you 0 so if 2 would have been there same result would have got so now just this minus sign not looking good in this side so integration of sin x dx gives you minus of cos x plus s that's why I prefer writing C in the end because you might argue that C also gets a minus sign. C and minus C you can name that as any other constant. So the first uh, learning from this uh, video is integral of sin x which most of the time uh, we confuse as cos x but it is not cos x it is minus of cos x and every time you confuse go back to your basics go back to the derivative formula and you will never do so so now the second one is cos x so similar approach we know the derivative of sin x or to say on simpler basis sin x plus k because any constant would have been there the derivative is zero gives you cos x so if you do the reverse of this if you integrate cos x dx you are going to get sin x plus k there you get second formula to be noted in your notebook or that list which you are making which i think is very very important in the beginning and later on that will fit into your mind. So third one, they are asking for secant square x. So I know that d by dx of tan x plus let's say the constant is a this time is secant square x. So if I go for the reverse thing, integral of secant square x dx that is going to give me tan x plus a constant. This is the third one. We will uh, get you through with some more. Uh, but I think you can derive. Gradually we will uh, come to more of that. Uh, I have already covered sine. I have covered cos. Uh, we have covered secant square x. Okay, that uh, formula for tan cot, these are derived, these are to be derived later. Okay, so gradually we will come to that. So for the timing, these three formulas are to be taken uh, care of. So let's see what we can do here. 
in this problem we can separate this and write 3 integral of sin x dx minus 4 comes out integral of cos x dx and 5 comes out integral of secant square x dx integral of sin x as i tell you that that is minus of cos x so minus 3 cos x integral of cos x is sin x only integral of secant square x is tan x and plus a constant c from my side that's how simple it is and this question motive was not to solve this problem but uh, to make you aware with these three formulas and as we move on we'll solve different types of problem like sine cube x cos cube x sine x cos x and so on so it is going to be an interesting uh, journey uh, as I move forward in this trigonometric integration so just stay there bring all your friends to this uh, journey uh, you can also watch uh, the videos from beginning in the playlist named integration 2023 so thanks for coming here thanks and have a nice day